This is the LoRa USB dongle that I recently got from a tech design. This LoRa USB dongle is based on Semtech LoRa chip SX1272. This dongle has direct use of USB interface control and does not need to understand the complex transmission LoRa concept. It is like a plug and play module. It can also be directly connected with the Raspberry Pi to make an IoT LoRa gateway with fewer software setups. It operates at a frequency of 915 MHz and has a transmission distance of up to 15 km. This tutorial covers the basic uses of LoRa USB dongle with the application software. One of the LoRa USB dongles can be used as a transmitter module and the other as a receiver module. Any messages can be sent or received in text, hex or decibel format. Graphical and historical data analysis is also available on its web server portal. So let's see how we can use this LoRa USB dongle. This video is sponsored by iFrog Lab and Tech Design, which is the IoT solution provider in Taiwan. iFrog is one of the suppliers on the Tech Design platform. Tech Design brings together a network of 500 plus verified electronics design and manufacturing suppliers to support you throughout your product development journey. You can also jumpstart your project by leveraging one of our 1600 plus customizable electronics hardware and IoT solution to reduce the cost and time of your hardware development. Welcome back again. These are the pair of LoRa USB dongles based on the SX1272 LoRa chip. The product is made in Taiwan and designed by iFrog Lab and sold by Tech Design. The product does not require any external components and has a direct USB interface. Hence, this product can be directly connected to your computer USB or Raspberry Pi. According to the datasheet, the transmission distance it can achieve is 15 km, but in my normal testing, the distance it achieved was almost 3 km. The product can be directly connected to the Raspberry Pi board and can be used as an IoT LoRa gateway. The product works on 868, 900, 915 MHz frequency, hence it can be used globally for multipurpose applications. The circuit board inside the plastic package is designed using SX1272 LoRa module. It is a type of low-cost RF front-end transceiver module based on SX1272 from Semtech Corporation. It gives the advantages of RFIC SX1272 but simplifies the circuit design. It has a high sensitivity of minus 137 dBm and a power of 20 dvm. This makes the module suitable for low range and low data rate applications. SX1272 operates between 1.8 to 3.6 volt with an extra low standby current which makes it suitable for battery powered off applications. It also adopts plus minus 10 ppm crystal resolution and plays an important role in calculating speeding, factor, bandwidth, etc. IFRAG Lab LoRa module has the integration of two chips on the module board. One is ASIC MCU, which controls SX1272 through the SPI interface and gets AT command from UART transport. You can refer to the dataset for more information. Now let us see how we can use these modules. In this guide, we will perform two-way communication between the modules. First, connect both LoRa USB dongles to to different USB ports and identify the port numbers using the device manager of your computer. The second thing that we need is to download the iFrog Lab LoRa application. The file is an executable file and can be directly run without any installation. Once you run the file, you will have two options. Here, we need to select the iFrog Lab LoRa app. A window will open where all the operations related to LoRa transmission and receiving can be performed. You need to open this pair of windows as one window will be for transmission and the other for receiving. One of the ports here is used as a transmitter and I have assigned this as COM port 9. The other port here is 
used as a receiver and I have assigned this as a COM port 10. In the setup device part, select broadcast and then click on open LoRa. A MAC address is displayed. Do the same thing for the other applications window. Both will have different MAC addresses. Now, the connection between these two modules is established. In the send data part, select the format in which you want to transmit data. The available format is text, decimal and hexadecimal. On the other window in the receive data section, select the format in which you want to receive data. The sender and receiver of both formats should be the same. Now, you can start sending and receiving the data in the format you want. Therefore, type some message and hit the send button to send the message. The message could be in the text, but in the LoRa data transmission case, generally, the messages are in hex format. One more thing to note, the app has a dashboard as well. To get the dashboard, go to the preference option and all you need is this check mark enabled. If enable upload the dashboard, the data will be uploaded. And to view the uploaded data, click on the open dashboard. Is you can see a beautiful dashboard is available that gives the detail of data uploaded in the decimal format. You can also customize the dashboard according to your requirements. This was a simple demo for a two-way communication between the LoRa dongle. A complete GitHub repository is available with the Python code and Arduino code to use in this module. Dedicated software for Docker container can be used to convert this LoRa USB dongle to Raspberry Pi LoRa gateway. You can go through all the resources to make maximum utilization of this project. Alright, that's all from the video part today. I hope you enjoyed this video. To purchase this LoRa USB dongle, you can check the link in the description. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.